What up, y'all? Definitely, Foxy. Thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. I... I'm gonna actually do some, uh... Some of this format. I've been enjoying M21 Draft. Maybe because it's I've been doing well at it? Maybe not. Probably, though. Alright, we paused this while the queue filled up. It's been about three and a half minutes, four minutes. Did they say what they changed? We were talking about Beyond Sausage. Beyond Sausage actually changed their formula. And I don't like it, the new formula at all. And I don't think it's very good. Um, I it used to be so, like, when I got Beyond Sausages, I would have them with, like, pasta. And I would eat, like... I would eat one, but I would be, like... Sometimes I'd be, like, I'm just gonna have a second one, because these are delicious. And so I'd have the second one. And now it's, like, I have have one... And I can't even finish it. I'm like, eh, it's just not very good. And, like, I won't even eat, like, a, the, a box is, like, a box of four sausages. Like, big, you know, like, hot dog-sized sausages is, like, eight bucks for Beyond for Beyond Sausage. So it's a good, it's, like, two dollars a sausage. And, you know, typically I eat the whole thing. But now I'm like, I'll eat one, I can't even finish it, and, like, I don't even want the rest, and it's such a waste. Beyond Meat is expensive, but I think it's a fantastic product, so I don't mind supporting it. And I assume the more people who support it and uh, purchase it, I, I assume that the price will go down at some point, so. No one knows better than McCain. So, um, yeah, it's like, it's definitely an issue. If you guys ever have Beyond Sausage, let me try the new one and let me know what you think. I've heard the altitude can change your taste. That's interesting. But also, this is definitely not an altitude thing because, like, it's just they've, they've literally advertised it as a new meatier flavor. And I'm just like, eh. Mike Hypothesis, thank you for the Beyond Bits, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Alright, we did it. I literally had to pause it again because it wasn't firing, but... Shacklegeist! 2-2 two, two, can only block creatures with flying. Tap two untap spirits, tap target creature you don't control. Why does that have to be a creature you don't control? Hmm. I think Griffinary is great. I don't think it's great in this format, though. It's really hard to gain three life a turn. Cripple Lurker is decent. Twin Blade Assassins is pretty nice, especially because it's just a big 5-4. Horse Shrines. I would hate to do that. I would actively... I think I'm just going to take the Twin Blade Assassins. I actually like Green Black in this format. You get all the sweet removal. You have a bunch of solid creatures. Temple of Malady. How fitting. Don't care about Mind Rot. Hellkite Punisher 7 mana. It's quite a bit much for a creature without haste. Like, we played it in our red deck, but... Shrines is an underrated archetype. Yeah, I mean, that's because they're uncommons, so... You know, they're kind of hard to get, and you have to play 5 colors. Uh, I, I do like Sabretooth Mauler. Especially if we have, like, a, if a creature died theme. Ooh, Grasp is nice. So is Llanowar Visionary. Good grief. These are both, like, premier commons. God, I think the Visionary might even be better. Just go turn three Visionary into Twin Blade Assassins. Yeah, I'm going to take Visionary. Like, we can find more removal, but... We may never find another Visionary. Does one of you target... Like, this card's not that bad, but, like... You're not going to be dealing more than, like, two damage, right? Like, six mana for two damage is not the best. Um, I, kinda, I just like Gloom Sower. I think it's actually a great card in the top end. It's hard to deal with. 
especially if we're visionarying into it. Oh, another Twin Blade Assassins? Okay, that's pretty sweet. Also, Hunter's Edge. Jeez. I think I just want second Twin Blade Assassins. I mean, we can probably get another... Oh, Grasp of Darkness? Shoot. I actually did not love the cast draft we did yesterday. I might not do another one. We'll see. I actually feel like I'm liking Double Masters more than cast draft. Another Visionary? Oh my god, we're in the right colors. Oh, good grief. Double Visionary, Double Twin Blade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or as empty as my could be, could be. As long as you've drawn two cards or more this turn, it gets plus two, plus, plus one, plus two. So it's four, six versus a four through with lifelink. This guy also isn't just an easy way to sack a card. Like, sack, make them discard, draw a card from this, untap this guy, and get a counter. Uh, it's also just a one, two. I don't hate it, actually. It's just an easy way to trigger morbid. Okay, and Noisy Cloister is fine too, I guess. In in my face. <laughs> I do like Cripplurker. Oh, Cripplurker is actually fantastic in this archetype, right? I really wish the the timer was not down here because I'm looking up here at all the information, but then the timer just have, happens to be down here. It's like, can you just put all the information in one place so that I'm not having to look like at three different things? That just seems like a bad a UI choice. Oh, what up, Timmy boy? Timmy. Oh, Jungle Hollow came back. Trackdown's probably better, right? Scry three draw card. It's just like a. It's just like anticipate, basically. Well, see, I mean, no offense, but they do have a track record of poor UI choices. Oh, the sniper came back. I actually like Sanguine Indulgence a lot. I think it's just fine, especially uh, it's just a draw two. What up, Midnight Meat? This is pack one. I think this is a very good pack one for us. Oh, Fabled Passage. Warden of the Wood. I do love a Warden of the Wood. I actually haven't been that impressed by Eliminate. The small creatures in this format usually aren't the ones that kill you. <laughs> I think Warden of the Wood's just great. 5-7 Vigilance. It's for only 6 instead of 7. Especially when we have double Land War Visionary. I'm on board. Um, As far as what we're playing, we got to Rise Again. Village Rights. Village Rights actually goes quite well with our sacrifice theme I mean I don't think rise again is great yeah I'll just take rights I'll play a village rights Judging Patrician, I like a lot. This pack's not very good. Cyrus creature draw card gonna life. I'm gonna take Cauldron here. I do need some cheap creatures to start sacrificing. Gourmand. Sack a creature. Each opponent sacks a creature. I think this is probably the play. It's a 5-5 Trampling Flyer. It's gotta be better than Dreadmaw. 
I think we just need some cheap creatures to start being able to sacrifice. Kite Sail Freebooter seems fine. Um, yeah, let's just take the Liliana Steward. Or the Tavern Swindler. Sure. I think any pre-comment at X-Mana? No. Burl first, Fist Oak. Whenever you draw a card, it gets plus two, plus two. That actually seems decent in this deck. This guy's going to attack for a bunch, I imagine. Oh, good old Milton Burlfist. A classic. I mean, this pack's not very exciting. I'll just take Run Afoul in case they have some flyers. Like a Bane Slayer Angel. I think Portcullis. Actually, I like the Steward better than Portcullis Vine. Gunners, welcome back, my dude. You know, I don't know if we're playing two Tavern Swindlers, but, like, at worst, it's a 2-2 two, two for two, so. Um, 3-drop? We don't have many 3-drops. I'll just take 3-drop. I don't think Duress is going to be, like, a uh, super high priority in this format. Second time I've opened Necromentia. Arch Archfiend's Vessel. Oh man. None of these cards are great for us, actually. I think I think another Mauler is just fine. Is that cat better than, than Mauler? We don't have a ton of counter cards. Like we have one Mauler. And that's pretty much it. Oh, they are both cats. <laughs> Solid point. Guys, look, aren't you aren't you guys sad we didn't play shrines? Ooh, finishing blow is gas. Let's take a finishing blow. What a strange adjective you used to describe a dinosaur. Who would see a dinosaur mauling someone and say, Oh, he's ornery. What a, look how ornery he is. Oh, look at that biscuit. Ooh, another grasp? Okay. I hope Bad Dealer Crippler could come back. Man, Sky Scanner is great too because you can just sack it to Crippler. You draw a card, you trigger other things. Mmm. Oh, I like a Liliana Standard Bear. I also like Hunter's Hedge. Oh, this is actually tricky. We have 17 creatures. I think we're going to take the Hunter's Edge. I don't even own a 3-drop, let alone many 3-drops that would necessitate a curve. What am I going to do with a 3-drop? Oh, Garrick's Uprising? Is that good? Also, uh, Deathbloom Talon. I feel like we have enough, enough ways to draw cards. Sky Scanner, a non-artifact deck? It's more common than you think. I'm going to take the Death Bloom Thalad for the sacrifice effects. Canopy Stalker for the San Francisco Retreat. I think this guy is probably one of the easy cuts. Track down in the city. 
I feel like it just can't be Stalker or Colossal Drone. What do you do if every time you see a draft pack you feel like hurling chunks? <laughs> oh man, these Wayne's World quotes are solid. Uh, I'll take 3-3. Three, three. I think that's better than one of the Tavern Swindlers, for sure. Peer into the Abyss. I'm just tempted to take this in case it can, can do some kind of shenanigans. Yeah, Titanic Growth is actually a fine trick. I'll take this guy. Life goes on, and so do we. Just how we do it is a mystery. You know that song? Oh, the Uprising came back? That's wild. I think our deck looks sweet. Let's look at this curve. I don't own a three drop. This seems good. Double grasp, finishing blow, hunter's edge is our removal. Village rights, witch's cauldron, double twin blade assassins, warden of the woods, Lanor visionaries is card draw. This deck has a lot of good velocity. I think. I think this is just better than the swindler here. Like in the late game, I'd much rather top deck a mass black guard than a tavern swindler that I can trade up. I think this deck is sweet. Hunter end. <laughs> it's true. Alright, if we don't 3-0, I'm gonna be actually real disappointed. Just how we mulligan is no mystery. All right, I guess we'll take this. Any white source is decent. Any, uh, by the time I said white source, <laughs> he meant green source. I'm gonna put trackers and trackers, trackers down. Was that was that card called? What was that card? Okay, still, we're still good on green. By the time he was like, any white source is great. Why did I play that instead of this? Pro I don't know. Your question's valid. Yep. Not great. Yeah, that would have been better last turn. We can attack into these guys. Is this some kind of almond cat oko mashup? Guys, never forget how we died. Yeah, let's just go to the next game now. That was fun. I had a good time. Just how I don't think we need to mulligan anything or uh, change anything. Sweet green card. Buddy, you you know it. I have the sweetest green cards. We have the best green cards. Uh, 
Uh, keep. You got any, uh, green mana in your green deck? Hello? I really do hate that, man. All right, so you have three three drops, and we get to just take your tome. Taking Maze Mind Tome here is super nice. Alright, so we're definitely keeping the land. Put this guy on top so we can play it next turn. Actually, do we play a land this turn? I believe we did. Oh, actually, we can put this guy on top. Put you on, on that. Might as well get in there. Oh, Shingen, thanks so much for the raid, buddy. I really appreciate it. attacked first if I were them, but... Made me all the way. And right, I think we should go to the 3 3 here. Because they get rid of a creature, which means their blocks are pretty bad from this guy. A, a draw here, but Come at me. 
me, bro. They did, but they did not come at me. This seems good. Plus we got grasp trickery. Trickeration. Okay, they just lose the game. That seems great. Your guys are so fat. <laughs> How come this doesn't have the... How come that doesn't... What if I move it to the deck? Does it have the cards tiled in? No. That's weird. <laughs> Classic fat guys running over the competition. keep it. <laughs> I mean, Lenore Visionary and Brawl Fist Oak are not terrible together. I mean, if you play them in the other order, but, you know. Visionary into Oaky Boy. Four cards. Mm -hmm. uh, Sniper being a 1-2 makes me not think he's very good. I mean, he has reach, but he's not going to be able to block things like this. So this is just this is just amazingly aggressive here. <sighs> yep, we just don't get to play anything. Cool. That was a... Uh, Fun match. Congratulations, you got a two drop and a three drop down. Yeah, I get it. Thanks for... Probably gonna kill this guy. 
thing about our deck is I feel like we uh, win if we get to the late game. Okay. Definitely want to hit a land here. Hmm. So we're going to draw this. Next turn we actually draw this guy. Yeah, that seems fine. I'm going to end the turn, keep up Grasp. If they play like a 5 drop that we can kill pretty easily. and scatter. Well, they do. Cool. Okay. Well, that's pretty good, I guess. Unsubstantiate. Opt. That's significantly better for us. attack with this guy when they can kill this guy. Okay. Okay. Tim, I hope you have a good time, uh, Cube drafting, buddy. I would say be careful, but you're in Germany, so, you know, you guys are pretty cautious. Well, that is unfortunate because we don't get to draw a card. Why do they keep attacking with that guy? I don't understand. We should still be careful. I agree with you. I agree with you. Hmm. Well. They're at four.
yeah, I'm just gonna submit. Keep ship one of these guys. I mean, we have a bunch of early stuff on our deck. I don't know why uh, our deck seems to not want to give it to us. This card's terrible. Um. Fool me once, Mistral Charger, Stringer, Singer, Charger, Stringer, Singer. Cool. So this is how we lose every match that we lose. Is this the same opponent as we played round one? Play the same boat twice. Why can you do that? Why would it do that? Okay, that's really weird. Also, why is their clock overlapping their their timeouts? I don't understand anything. Boy, a land here would be great, he said for the past two turns. Find a land just to turn too late. Yeah, cool. I know what I revealed. It's my deck. Thanks. going to the next game again like I, I mean fucking not hitting lands and not having uh drops between one and three is like literally the worst even though we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven cards we can play between uh, turn one and three oh boy 
Let's bring in Run Afoul. one black source you know what i'll keep it oh what up johnny boy <laughs> good seeing you my dude uh okay so you have a three drop and a four drop this hand is interesting seems good All right, well. Oh, look, another double black card, guys. No attacks. Guy. Ghost of the Sun, thank you so much for the year, buddy. One year of good times. Uh, decline. I'm a fan of our Gourmand. I think that's... They always attack with this guy. It's pretty wild, man. Oh, that's, that's alright. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm just going to pass here and keep one of our extensive pieces of removal up. Sure. Two cards? Sure. We're doing all right here. Let's see if we can not play against the same opponent for the third time. I don't even know who Louis, Louis Gourmand is. Luis Gourmand? I don't know who that is. Are you just making up names? You know he's making up names. Alright. No Dark Angel. I really don't want to play the same person three times in a row. Especially because their deck seems good against us with all the flying. Okay, we did it. All names are... Stop saying that! You can't just say that every time you want to justify a name. Uh, yes. One drop. 
Two two drops. Got some quatros. I don't know if Witch's Cauldron is any good. I think I think Titanic Growth might just be better than Cauldron. We have yet to sacrifice anything. I feel like there's not enough cards in this format to sacrifice, if that makes sense. I think it's more important to hit land or multiple lands. Um, I don't think I want Gourmand, actually. I do want these two lands, though. Can't I? No, you can't. I'm on to your tricks. Everybody's on to your... Oh, that guy's gotta go. But he won't go. Yep. Really? <sighs> Sad. Alright, well, so far it's been a three for two. Can I sack this guy to village rights and then give it plus two, plus two? Plus four, plus four? Is that a strategy? Take three. Cool. Yep, I'm going to go to the next game now. This is amazing. These matches have been fantastic. You know what? I'll keep it because of the 3-3. Three, three. Oh, good times. I'll take three here. Would love a four drop. Got one. Uh, I think everything else in this hand is keepable. I love it when they reveal my own cards. They're like, do you know that this is what you have on top? Sure. Double strength, whenever it attacks, you may tap any number of untapped creatures. Sure. I might actually discard Gourmand here? Maybe?
Because I just don't think it does much, and we don't have a creature we readily want to sacrifice. So they just attack. Oh, they don't attack at all. Fascinating. Uh, we do not have Rise again. I don't think Rise again is very good, but I could be wrong. So, they deal four to this, and yep, no blocks. Would love a removal spell. Yeah, that's great. That's not it. I mean, we get to draw three and hope to find one. This is actually even better because we just get to eat their swift response. So. That's what we were looking for. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the risk that their last card is not feet in order to get them to tap these other dudes. Yeah, this is what we wanted them to do. If they have feet, we're just dead, so. <laughs> oh, fucking amazing, dude. Yeah. Good game. <sighs> oh, amazing. Fucking incredible, dude. These dude, these people are so fucking incredible. Like it's it's unbelievable. Like I just wish. God, it'd be amazing to have like. I have to have this exact one uncommon as the last card in my hand. Hey, I do. And I get one pack. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. This is my obviously my worst uh, showing with M21, which I guess is fine. But, uh, you know, slam those, slam those buttons, I guess. I'll see you next time.